All right, so in this video, I'm going to be tying and explaining um, two different types of eggs. And then after I do that, I'm just going to be explaining um, eggs in general, when different types should be fished, and how they can be fished, and just all that good kind of stuff. So first kind of egg, I'm going to tie is a simple glow bug. I'm just tying it with some, uh, some egg yarn. It's uh, pretty thick, but it's orange any color that looks like some color that an egg would be is will do to tie an egg so start your thread right on there and decided to do a video about eggs because um you know i didn't at first because i figured that anyone who ties flies would know how to tie an egg but then i realized that there's a lot of steelhead fish people who want to get into steelhead fishing that just don't really know where to start and since eggs are such a big part of steelhead fishing it's kind of why they come in the river in the fall and why they're there in the spring to spawn that I really should do when explaining and um, explaining eggs and then uh, tying some eggs Sorry for those uh, fishermen out there who are just starting off so I got my thread wrapped up and now I'm just going to be using some yarn this is some just a bunch of different types of yarn and it's UV enhanced um, yarn which just means that it um, it'll shine a little bit more and um, I cut off a section say maybe two and a half inches long and I cut that in half and so I have two sections about an inch and a quarter long um, and that's gonna make the foundation of my egg fly now you tie these right on top of the hook and you tie them um, you tie the first one in sort of across the hook and then you tie the second corresponding piece in the same place but you kind of tie it in an X so that um, they are perpendicular from each other the two pieces of yarn that you're tying in And so you just wrap those down nice and tight. You can see it's kind of swaying back and forth right now. So to get that to stop, you do some wraps outside of that. And so now when you're usually used to seeing eggs, they have a, another little color. So I take a, another color, either a yellow or a darker orange or a pink or whatever, which is a thin strand of that and a little shorter, and tie that in the same place. Um, doesn't really matter which direction because it's so small. Tie that in with a couple wraps. Now next, I just wrap all around this egg um, to be, to kind of get it, just so that it's all tightly together. So you can see how I'm just going around real close to the base, building up my thread. Okay. Now what you do, just take all that in your hand, take your scissors, and cut. That wasn't that clean of a cut, but what you have there is just a simple glow bug. And that's uh, very common. This, and then, uh, But what I usually do to it, just to shape it up a little bit, is to give it a trim. Just all around the sides. trim it up and eventually you can get it nice and spherical looking so you get the gist of that you can see how it's becoming more and more spherical the more that I trim off of it and it's also becoming smaller and smaller. So that's good enough. Looks enough like an egg to me. You could keep trimming and get it to a perfect circle, like you'll see it in stores, but it doesn't really have to be. Give it a couple more wraps to confirm that shape. Then I actually like to whip finish my flies on the back. 
the egg. Just doesn't really make a difference, but that's how I do it. So, we'll finish them up. Alright, and that is your simple glow bug. You can tie it in a bunch of different colors, fill your box with it. The second type, and this will be very useful to people who don't tie flies or don't have all the supplies. So you can see I have some fishing line attached here. Now this is braid. I would never recommend actually fishing with braid. This is just what I had lying around my fly tying table. So if you're on the go, you can tie this type of egg fly. Tie a snell knot on your hook, so then you're able to get that loop in there. And you can call that's called an egg loop. Then just take a bunch of different colors of yarn and amounts of yarn. So I'm snipping off different colors and different amounts. I just did some orange, just did a little pink here. Just did a little doing a little bit of yellow. Now combine these three. You can mix up the colors, you can keep them separate and slip them right in to there. Pull it tight and then uh, and trim it up. Just carry some shears with you. It's not as finished looking as a tied fly would look, but it's a way to get just a simple profile of an egg out there without having to tie flies. And when you have this on the end of a line, it'll, that snow knot will keep it nice and held together. So, you've got this. So you've got a couple different kind of eggs. But when should you fish different kinds of eggs? Why are there so many different colors? And um, just when are fish eating eggs? So there's two basic times when fish are going to be eating eggs. Well, obviously when fish are spawning. So the fall fish are going to be eating salmon eggs um, all the way through November, um, maybe in December. And then the fish in the spring are going to be eating the eggs from the other steelhead that are spawning. So that's, those are the times when eggs are actively present. And you're going to be fishing imitations because there's eggs in the river. But then how come people fish eggs all winter long and still catch fish? Because there's no eggs coming down the river when it's the dead of winter and it's 15 degrees outside and the current's stable. There's not going to be any eggs flowing. So... Um, the main reason is because those fish have been sitting in those holes. You know, when you're fishing winter fish, they've been in the river usually since November or so, and they just see something bright and orange and sort of familiar looking, and it gets them excited and they're curious. So they take a nip at it. And so that's the second um, time when you can get a fit, second condition when fish will be eating eggs. Now, different types of eggs. Um, really depend on different types of year and different water levels and clarity. Um, if you're fishing low, clear water um, in the, well, any time, you're going to want a more natural color usually. Um, so that would be a lighter colored egg, usually in some shade of orange. Um, Oregon cheese is a, uh, it's a color of egg, and that's a very good color for when it's natural, and you're going to go smaller as well because the fish can see that, and so it needs to be the natural size. Now, if it's salmon eggs, salmon eggs are a little bigger, but steelhead eggs are smaller, so you would fish a smaller egg in that situation. And also in the wintertime, um, this is the one exception. You'll hear of people catching fish on chartreuse eggs, so green eggs or yellow eggs or white eggs in the wintertime. Um, and those colors are colors that fish don't normally see coming down the stream in the wintertime. And that's what I was saying about them getting curious, and they'll strike an egg like that. Um, and then when the water comes up in the spring or in the fall and it gets uh, murkier, those fish are not going to be able to key in on those smaller, smaller sizes, um, less profound colors. So you're going to need to size up and you're going to need to uh, have some bolder colors. So if I was fishing low water, I would fish, I would not fish UV yarn like this. I would fish uh, regular yarn. But in um, murkier water, I'm definitely going to be fishing some, some glow yarn and I'm going to be fishing much bigger eggs. And the type of egg does not matter as much when the water gets high. I, I mean, you could get away just fine when the water's high with an egg like this because they're just looking for color and size. So a big old egg fly, um, and they're looking for profile and color and just something they can see in the fast water. So that's just a basic overview of eggs, um, when to use different types of eggs, and um, why the fish eat eggs. 
So I hope this helps you um, with your steelheading quest, and uh, good luck out on the river.